Hi, I'm Mihata. And this is the last one, I promise. So, this is Muad'Dib, the Worm Rider Barbarian. Let me show you this one. I've recently watched the second movie from the Dune saga. And I came up with this build. Let me show you the clip that inspired me. Paul Atreides is about to catch and ride his first worm. And what is he holding in his two hands? Military picks! Right? And a few seconds later, Muad'Dib runs toward the worm and he jumps. He jumps on top of the worm, just like the barbarian does in Diablo 2 Resurrected, right? So, this is the inspiration. And there he goes, leap attack. If that's not leap attack, I'm no content creator. Now let me show you the build behind this worm rider. So apparently I'm going to use two picks, military picks skins or war spike in this case. So I have Breath of the Dying, which is pretty decent weapon, good enough for this theme build. And the main reason why I chose Breath of the Dying over Grief is the mana stolen per hit so I can sustain. Also, the indestructibility, the fact that I don't have to repair this weapon, is also pretty handy and useful. The other weapon is Beast, because I'll be using Leap Attack, and the second hand is just a stat stick. And Beast is the best option for that. So, I can use Fanaticism, I also have access to wear bear and what else I can do I can use when I have beast and I can be a bear metamorphosis so I can cast mark of the bear and get some physical damage reduction leap attack doesn't benefit from the increased attack speed so whatever I also have three leap attack and three axe mastery on this helm according to max roll gg this is possible, so credit on them, don't judge me. I also used this skin, which kind of looks what the characters in Dune used when, we, when they were using their steel suits, but their face masks were not put in front of their mouth and nose. The armor is Hustle. In the gothic plate. In the gothic plate because this looks like steel suit to me. And hustle because if riding a sandworm is not a hustle, I don't know what is. Goblin toe, arachnid mesh and magnus skin for the black color mostly. Arachnid mesh for the 1-0 skill which buffs the AoE damage on leap attack. Goblin toe for the crushing blow and magna skin for the attack rating a little fire resist i just didn't want to go with laying of hands because they're blue and just doesn't doesn't feel doesn't fit the rest of the build high lords bull Ketus on both rings for the one all skill and skillers with life and attack rating max damage and strength on the charms Torch and any. This is suboptimal leap attack build gear that's intended. I never intend to perfectly optimize and pinpoint and min max the builds I create. That's how I roll. Skills 20 points into leap attack with 20 points into leap. You can see the damage. Is the AoE damage is between 1500 and 3000. One point wonders, 20 points into Axe Mastery, 20 points into Battle Orders, and I had so many points remaining that I had 19 points to put in Whirlwind. It is pretty decent to use Whirlwind with these two weapons. They are fast, they have 
decent damage. So Whirlwind is a great option. It just it's not necessary for the team of this build. And let's do a quick showcase. I'll do players 4. I've already tried it. It's pretty smooth. And let's start as the bear. Let's rebuff. You can see with the bear I'm at 9000 life. And the mark is done, so I can... I can start killing the monsters. Over here you can see the stat screen. The damage from leap attack is between 6000 and almost 10000. The AoE damage, as I already mentioned, is between 1600 and 31k with battle command. And clearing players' mobs with this build is pretty easy. Nothing too scary, nothing too interesting. I'm pretty sure I can even raise the player count. And the Barbarian will handle it without much problem. With the change that they made to leap attack, now it's not only boss killer, it's not elite sniper, but also clears some density. I wish the AoE damage was just a bit higher, so it's possible to use it as a main damage dealer in hell difficulty, but that's what we have in Diablo to Resurrect. What happened to my mana? I need mana? Just for the sake of it, I'll show Whirlwind pretty quickly. And this is the Whirlwind AoE damage last pack. Let's leap attack them. And done. So this was Muad'Dib. The Worm Rider Barbarian. It's time to end the Dune series for now, or at least put them on hold. I have other ideas that I would like to dive into. I hope the theme has been fun. It was really fun creating these builds. I hope you stick and you enjoy the other themes, the other builds that I will create in the future. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.